Well, the first thing I liked about football when I first started was really just the hitting part of it. I played defense first. Uh, my dad just told me to run into people like a missile. So that's what I did. And you know, I fell in love with the hitting part of football. I first started getting really serious with training as soon as I started playing the sport. Uh, my dad, he was one to teach me that I wanted to be the best at everything I did. So if it was running fast, if it was jumping high, that I wanted to try to do it and be the best at it, to be the best that I can be. Training at a young age, one of the things that my dad did, and he emphasized this a lot, was when we would get our equipment, he would put me in the backyard with my older sister and older brother, and he'll just tell them to run with the ball, and I have to chase them and tackle them. They never went easy. It was always tough. Sometimes I never got them down. <laughs> I go in the house pouting, come back out and try it again, and we'll do this all day. He showed me how to work, push-ups, sit-ups, it was at one point we got on the bed and he held my feet and he just wanted to see how long I can keep bouncing. And I did like at least 500 sit-ups with non-stop, just bouncing up. My parents shaped me in uh, every way, uh, you know, that I live today. Uh, my mom, she was a Winn-Dixie worker. My dad, he was a construction worker. So those are all hands-on jobs, jobs you have to wake up and you know, you, you really don't want to do, but you have to provide for the family. So. Me seeing them work so hard, that's the reason I decided to work so hard. Once I got to high school, I felt that it was easy to work out and do it all the time because everything was right there for me. Some days I would lift with the team, afterwards go do gas or sprints, and then later on that night, I'll text one of my good friends and tell them, let's go to the beach and let's go run on the beach. This one, two, three o'clock in the morning at times, I'm up and there's nothing else to do. And I text him and he'll wake up. Uh, a good friend of mine, Tremaine Washington, uh, he, he plays in the CFL. Uh, we always did it. Well, I always thought that, you know, someone was working harder than me. I thought that when I was sleeping, I know someone's up working out right now, just getting up. At least I know that if he was working out, I was working out at that time. No one was getting ahead of me. One of my main things was I wanted to be the best player I could be. Each year I wanted to improve from whatever stats that I had the prior year, I wanted to improve on that. The University of Miami was the right place for me because, you know, they NFL you really. I was thinking about helping my family. I wanted my family to see me play in Miami and I thought that it would just be a great feeling for my family and me if I just stayed home and have them be able to come out and watch me play. Things started to slow down for me in college once my junior year. I played a pivotal role my sophomore year, but I wasn't a starter. Once I started starting, the game really slowed down that whole spring and summer. I was seeing different things. I was communicating better, but that was one of the years we had a breakout. The speech that I gave before the Pittsburgh game was a, a big speech. My head coach called me and asked me if I could deliver a message uh, before the game. I thought about what speech would be the right point for this moment where we're at. You know, it's this movie I love, and it's called The Replacements with Keanu Reeves. He gave a speech of quicksand and how the harder you fight, the deeper you sink. And uh, basically, I put a spin on that, that speech that he gave. I, I told him the harder that we fought alone, the deeper we'll sink. But if you reach your hand out and unite with your team, maybe we can be able to pull each other out of the quicksand that we were going through, and this was after losses we were taking, close calls, and uh, you hear finger pointing, you see things on media. We weren't focusing on the things that was in the locker room. I gave that speech, and we took that, and we ran with it. You have to learn how to overcome X amount of pain to, to get where you want to go, and every step is not going to be easy. It's not going to be a sunny days. It's going to be dark days, and days you don't want to go, but you have to realize and understand that somebody feeling the same way, but they gonna go. I can do anything I put my mind to. That's not just a saying, that's something I actually believe.